Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the double pump hydraulic system. As name indicates, double pump hydraulic system having the two pumps. One is a high flow pump which supplies the fluid at a lower pressure. And another one is a low flow pump which supplies the fluid at a higher pressure. And apart from these two pumps, the other parts of the double pump hydraulic systems are tank, filter, check valve which is connected to a high flow rate pump and unloading valve that is also connected to a high flow rate pump and pressure relief valve to the circuit to relieve the, relieve the pressure whenever it builds up in the system. And 4 by 3 direction control valve manually actuated spring centered direction control hall and double acting cylinder to carry the load. This double pump hydraulic system used for the particular application that is the sheet metal punching operation. And here in the 4 by 3 direction control hall at the central position it is a neutral position there is no movement of the piston inside the cylinder. When direction control valve switches to the left envelope, then the pump line, the pump line is connected to a this cylinder. Okay, that is a, a piston end of the cylinder. Then extension of the cylinder taking place. During that extension in the punching operation. For the certain long distance, the travel is to be at a high speed, and the speed we are going to achieve when the flow rate is higher. If we use the single pump, that should be having the variable flow rate, and that should be high flow rate with a higher pressure pump, and that will become see, costlier. In order to avoid that one, the two pumps we can use, and already. To carry the certain load what is required for this travel that pressure is supplied by this pump which is supplying the low flow rate and for that longer distance high flow rate pump supplies the higher fluid and the, the flow rate will become say higher then the travel will be the for this distance the higher at a higher speed when the punching is taking place during the punching operation the distance movement is very less, the travel is very less and that's why the fluid flow rate required is less. But the, to carry out the punching operation, it requires a higher pressure to carry the load and that's why the high pressure is required. And here, as the high pressure pump is already with the required pressure for the punching operation, it is supplying. And due to the increased pressure, as there is a non return valve in this direction, there is no flow to this pump. Okay, the pressure inside the this system builds up. As the pressure increases, the for that particular pressure set, okay, the unloading valve will be unloads this high flow rate pump. This high flow rate pump it will be unloads, and only this. High pressure pump, low flow rate pump will be supplying the fluid to this punching operation. The punching operation will be carried out. And the, in the even though it is a pressure increases behind the certain limit, the pressure relief valve will, will be releases that pressure also. The, in the circuit, the pressure relief valve will be connected. And when the direction control valve switches to the right envelope then the fluid from this piston end will be flowing back to the tank and the, from the pump the fluid will be flowing here and the, uh, whatever the normal flow is there the, for that without building any pressure during that time there is no load is there during the retracting stroke the normal with the normal speed it will be retracting like this for the particular 
in the seat metal punching operation okay the double pump hydraulic system we are going to use this can be like explained as here shows a circuit that is, is a high pressure low flow pump in conjunction with a low pressure high flow pump two pumps okay that is a high pressure and low flow pump with a low pressure and high flow pump a typical application is a seat metal punch press in which hydraulic ram must extend rapidly over a great distance with a very low pressure but high flow requirements the high flow requirements during the extend for the some larger distance or a great distance this rapid extension of the cylinder occurs under external no external load the external load is very less as the punching tool approaches the seat metal strip to be punched up to that one then however during the short motion during the short motion when the punching operation occurs the pressure requirements is high due to the punching load during the punching operation the cylinder travel is small and thus flow rate requirement is low the circuit shown eliminates eliminates necessary of having very expensive high pressure high flow pump when the punching operation begins the increase increased pressure opens the unloading valve to unload the low pressure pump the purpose of relief valve is to protect the high pressure pump high pressure pump from the over pressure is over pressure then that also unloads at the end of the cylinder stroke at the end of the cylinder stroke and when the dcv is uh, dcv is in its spring center mode when the dcv is in its spring center mode as well as during the end of the stroke cylinder the check valve protects check valve protects the low pressure pump low pressure pump from high pressure which occurs during the punching operation and at the end of the cylinder stroke and when the dcv dcv in spring center mode in these conditions low pressure pump is also protected like this the operation of the double pump hydraulic system is taking place thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment